Quickly, Cheryl, please. Okay, Pops, we got some information from that jerk who was holding out on us. Remember that guy, Bernie Gladstone? Who is he? He's Mrs. Markham's boyfriend. Okay, you know our neighbor? You know the one with all the cats? Mm -hmm. She told us that he, every day he visits Mrs. Markham at the same time. He saw you walking the dog the same time that you were supposedly out killing Reginald Love. Now, where is this Bernie guy now? That's the problem, Pop. He Why? ran away. Ran away? To Colorado. Scott saw him at the airport. Now, where in Colorado? A few miles outside of Boulder. I'm not sure exactly where, but we can probably find out from his wife. Vince, you have to go now. Oh, now, listen, baby. I love you. But don't you do any more. I will take over. I don't want you taking any more chances, all right? Oh, quickly, please. All right. Pop, how long have you been here? Two days. Has Mama been taking care of you? I overheard the cops. Cheryl was right. They have a warrant. Oh. I'm going downstairs. Oh, please. Wait, wait. I have to do something. Sir, listen, I can't stand leaving you like this. The cops are on their way up. If anything happens to you... I'll be all right if you're all right. Elevator, touch the phone down. Right. Take the back stairs and go out through the garage, all right? All right, I love Careful. you. Careful. Oh, okay. oh, he's gone. Don't do it. Scott. Yeah, I am thinking, Cheryl. All right, so what are we going to do? I don't know. I thought you said you were thinking. Well, that doesn't mean I've made a decision, does it? Scott. We don't have that much time. We have to figure something out. We can't let Mama spend the night in jail. Well, she probably will, no matter what we do. All right. So what are we going to do? Are we going to go down there? What about Angel? How much do we tell her? Answer me, Scott. Okay, I've got it. You go down, you check on Mom, and you take this with me, okay? Here. Uh, what's this for? It's all the cash I've got. It's about a hundred bucks. You get the rest of it from Maisie and Ada for bail. What about you? What are you going to do? I'm going to go try and find Bernie. It's not here, Scott. I'll track him down. We know he's in Colorado, right? No, I'm not going to let you go. Sure, we don't have a choice here. What about the police? Why can't we let them oh, handle it? Come on, don't just get stonewalled. You know that. You don't think Bernie will stonewall you? No. I'm more motivated than the cops, so I want to find out the truth here. Jack, uh, how's Mama? Um, Mrs. McKenna's been booked. Ah. Oh. Look, she'll probably be in the holy cell for the night. She wants you to pack her bag, sure. Is that all she said? She doesn't want you or Scott to worry about her. Is there any word on Vince? Yeah, it doesn't sound good. Things have heated up. What do you mean? The police got a call. A gunshot was robbed. The thief said he told the owner that he'd pay him back later and he split. It was Vince McKenna. And now that the police know he has a gun, the APB will say that he's armed and dangerous. I'm sorry. What now? I think our plans have changed. At least mine did. Just remember, don't say anything, okay? Tell me not to answer anything. I won't. What? Oh, here. Oh, my. Uh, uh, under the curtain. Wait a second. Officer Lewis here. This is Lieutenant Epolito. What do you guys want? We have a warrant to search the apartment of a Mrs. Mary McKinnon. your place, ma'am? Yes, I live here. You're looking for one Vince McKinnon? He's not here. You his wife? Yes, but my daughter's telling the truth. He's not here. Who fixed the buttons in the elevator? Sure took us a long time to get up here. Maybe someone planned it that way. No, we have uh, children in the building. It's a terrible problem. You don't mind if we look around. Check upstairs, too. All right. When was the last time you saw your husband, Mrs. McKinnon? He hasn't been here. That's not what I asked. I asked when was the last time you saw him. And I don't have to answer your questions. <clears throat> Vince McKinnon hasn't been here, huh? Then what is this? It looks like Vince's wallet. I know whose wallet it is, lady. What I want to know is how it got here. I have absolutely no idea. Don't owe him any explanations, Mom. Well. Call headquarters. Tell him that Vince McKinnon probably isn't too far away. 
I want you guys to get out of here. Not until I get some honest answers from her. She doesn't have to answer anything. Those are her rights. You want to push her any farther, I'll call her attorney. In the meantime, she got the done with her search. Get out of here. Everything's set. I've ordered a team to come in and check the fingerprints. Good. And I also have an eyewitness. Wait. Grossed down the block. Said that he stole Vince McKenna some chicken and some other stuff. Talk about it. What? I said, I, I said, I've got to go lie down. No, you don't. Not until you tell us where Vince McKinnon went. You are now in deep trouble. And if you don't tell the truth, things are only going to get worse for you. Where is he, Mrs. McKinnon? Where's Vince? Oh, oh. saved by the bell. <laughs> Hello. Mackenzie Corey? Oh, uh, yes. Who's this? Your mother-in-law's associate. What? Who? Ada's partner. Do you remember that? Well... Yes, of course. Where are you? Timbuktu. I see. I hope we're still friends, Mac. I'm long standing. I need a favor. Anything I can do. A lady named Mary may be in need of help. In what way? An attorney, one who specializes in criminal law. Really? It's an emergency. Do you think you can take care of it? Hello? Hello? Sorry, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. Who was it? Uh, an acquaintance who's in a little trouble. Anybody I know? You know, I think we owe Matthew a straight answer. Yes, we do. Darling, I know things have been difficult ever since Mitch came back. I know. But they're not going to be like that anymore. I'm going to spend the rest of my life with Mac in case you're wondering. You don't have any proof. We have all the proof we need, Matt. We've got patrols out on McKenna now. He can't have gotten too far without this. We can assume that your husband has very little cash on him, can't we? You can't assume Just anything. Take it easy, no, Cheryl. I'm not going to take it easy, Scott. There's no proof possible here. What do you call this? We told you that could have been here for a long time. Bob, you don't have to talk to him. You don't have any proof that he was here recently. Right. The food proves nothing. The bill fault proves nothing. Who do you think you're dealing with, Mrs. McKinnon? Well, who's that? Good, you're here. Hi, Mrs. McKinnon. Your hand, my hand. What are you doing here? Here comes all the proof we're going to need. You know who this is, Mr. Hanran? Why are you dragging him into this? Mom, I'll get you a lawyer. Don't worry. I don't need a lawyer. What do you say, Mr. Hanran? But if you people would stop hounding innocent people and go after the ones who are guilty, we would all be a lot better off. Mom, you believe Vince is innocent, don't you? Of course I do. He's a good man. He wouldn't hurt anyone. Well, have you seen that guy in the building? Has she been hiding Vince McKinnon here? Well, have you seen the guy or not? Yeah, I saw him leave a half hour ago. And also one other time. Came right in this apartment. We don't have to listen to this. Not until my mom ties to a lawyer. She could do that, too. She also ought to avoid hanging out with criminals. Vince is not a criminal. He is a good and decent man, and if he needed me, I would help him again. Get your coat first, man. Why? Because you're under arrest. That's for harboring an escaped criminal. No, Mama. It's fine. It's okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be held against you. Zach! What are you doing here? I'm going to represent your mother. That is, if it's okay with her. I didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do anything They're wrong. They're not going to listen to you, Cheryl. We have to help her, Scott. We can't let them put her in jail. We won't. I promise, okay? Then just calm down. Okay? Come on. We don't even know where Pops is. <laughs> Cheryl, your dad is a survivor. He's going to be all right. He's not going to be all right, Scott. He's sick and he doesn't have any money. I need to talk to you two. Oh, you have to help my mother. She saved someone's life. They can't put her in jail Why for that. Why don't you go with her, Zach? I'll catch up with them later. Right now, I'm worried about the two of you. Alice, why? The cops were asking questions about you, and they might be back for more. What did we do? Same thing as your mother, they think. Aided a fugitive. Oh, come on. They can't accuse us of that. They can do anything they want if they have the evidence. Right now, what we have to do is figure out a way to keep you out of jail. Zach, nothing matters but my mom. Now, if you're not going to go down to the station to help her out, I will. Hey, look, no, you won't. You're going to stay right here and answer my question. Not while she's alone. I'm going to take care of your mother. I told you that. Now, if they do book her, I'll get her out on bail. How many times do I have to explain this to you, Scott? 
Listen to him, Scott. Now, if you don't want to wind up in jail yourself, you better stay here and cooperate with me. Okay, what do you want to know? You know what I want to know. How did you help Vince, the both of you? We walked in here two minutes before he left, eh? And you never knew he was there before that? No, and if I had, I would have done anything to have helped him. I don't want to hear you say that it's again. It's the truth. I don't care. Do you want to go to jail? Well, where was Vince headed, Cheryl? We don't know. I was asking her. We don't. You're lying. We don't know where he was headed, Zach. All right. If you want to run a number on me, fine. But stay out of things, you understand? Your mother's in enough trouble. I don't want you to make it any worse. I'm sorry for giving you a hard time, Zach. Good luck, Zach. Well, it looks like we're not going to be able to stay out of this one. What's your plan? Do it. What? What did you mean before when you said your plans had changed? When did I say that? Ten minutes ago. Oh, uh, I don't know. I... I remember. I don't know. I, my mind was just kind of confused. That's tell all. me, Scott. There's nothing to tell, Cheryl. Besides, right now we have a lot more important things to do. Such as? Such as what we're going to do right now. You're going to take this bag down to Mom, and you're going to stay there as long as you can, right? Right. Okay. I don't have to reach MJ. We have to make sure that we get the bail. You've got to do that as soon as possible. Right. Oh, no. What's wrong? I just remembered MJ and Adam had planned to go away together. Well, forget it. Tell them to cancel it. No, I'm sure they would do that anyway. Okay. Anything else? No, nothing at a point. I just want to make sure you don't worry so much, okay? Thank you, Scott. <laughs> what for? Well, for everything you did tonight. And for everything you're gonna do. You do have something planned, don't you? And what makes you think that, Cheryl? Well, because you always do. I just think the future is going to take care of itself, that's all. This is all I could get out of the machine, all right? This is for you. Wait a second. This is all you're going to give me? What do you mean that's all I'm going to give you? How come you took so much? So much? What do you mean so much? That's what I want to know, Scott. Just how much did you take? I took half, okay? Why? So I don't believe we're talking about money. We've got a lot more important things to be doing right now. Like what? Try to get a hold of Adam and have him help me find Bernie and get a statement, okay? Sure. Can we go now? Scott. If I won't be seeing you, I just want you to know that I'm going to miss you. I love you. Colorado looking for my father, chasing after that creep Bernie's out of Valentine. I mailed yours about 20 minutes ago. Uh, you did, huh? I can't... Wait a minute, I just realized what you said here. I'm right, aren't I? Yes, but... <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, no, no, you're wrong. I'm not going to Colorado. I got a bunch of other things I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm not going to Colorado. Oh, yes, you are, Scott. And I'm going with you. <laughs> Where's the car, huh? It's uh, one level down, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll go get it. Uh, well, I'll come with you. No, I'd be quicker if I went by myself, and I will be back in a flash. 